Uh, well, no release date set for the bricklayer yet, but from what I'm hearing, it's probably going to be uh, summer of next year um or spring summer i should say and then the plane mid-january um yeah so uh two movies i'm very excited about um the plane is you know with a dear friend of mine um i should actually say it's plane now it's not the plane they renamed it just plane so uh dear friend of mine gerard butler um daniela pineda um so many you know mike coulter um such a great cast um had so much fun filming it we filmed it in puerto rico which has truly become one of my favorite places, uh, not only to film, but just to go. I love it there, um, love the people. Um, so yeah, had a, had a real adventure filming it. Um, I'm very excited for people to see it. I know uh, the trailer's out there now, so kind of people get the, the gist of the movie. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a edge of the seat action film. You know, uh, what you'd expect from Gerard Butler, but uh, truly it's, uh, we just had a screening um, a few weeks ago and, and He's just, you know, brilliant in it, and uh, and it's a really entertaining film. It's always it's always weird as an actor when you, you know, you're so familiar with a script and you're so familiar with a project because you've been part of it, you know, every day on set. So when you go to the actual screening, it's it's a test to see how good the movie is because you kind of know what happens from you know A to Z. Um, but this movie had, you know, had me entertained from start to finish. Like I genuinely didn't want to leave my seat. Um, at any point, even though at one point I was desperate for the restroom, I held it. So uh, it's a, it's a, it's definitely a hit. I, I love it and very proud of it, and um, I'm hoping that people will enjoy it too. It was amazing. I mean, I did Wire Room, which is which is out now. Um, you know, it was a. You know, it's completely different. You look at like a, a movie like Plane and the budget, and then you look at Wyram and you know, we filmed the entire movie in like eight days, which is which is crazy. To work with Bruce Willis as an actor um, is just like bucket list. You know, it's like you he's a, he's a legend. He'll always be remembered as a legend. Um, he should be um, just brought so many, you know, entertaining movies to people's, you know, homes and theaters and memories and you know, I think that's the that's the amazing thing with an actor like Bruce Willis is you can you can think back to his movies and suddenly you have memories of the movie, you have memories of who you saw it with, who you watched it with, you know, what you were doing at that time. So, you know, he's brought so much happiness and entertainment to people's lives. And I think that's, you know, the important thing to remember um, for, for anyone, you know, that's that's struggling with health or, you know, issues in life, whether it's later, whether it's present or anything, is always remembering what they were, you know, amazing for, you know, the good. You know what, I'd love to, I, I trained in improv um, and comedy. I've had a lot of, you know, training in that and, and I haven't really got to do much comedy yet. I think just because, you know, people see me and they're like, oh, action, let's put him in action. Um, so I'm hoping to get, you know, some more comedy um but we're seeing but i love it all i just you know i enjoy the the buzz of creating something and making something it's uh it's great actually vanessa hudgens and i were out all day yesterday for like 10 11 hours um doing like store meet and greets um so yeah it's a it's a cactus water brand so easiest way to explain it is if you think of coconut water but it's cactus water so it's got half the calories, half the sugar, and a ton of you know health, amazing health benefits: skin, digestion, hydration, immunity, um, tons of antioxidants, um, and very low sugar. So it's uh, it's an amazing drink. You know, obviously Latin America are very familiar with you know the benefits of prickly pear and cacti and stuff like that. So it's kind of we're we're on a mission to just make it more mainstream. And and yeah, we launched the brand uh, end of last May. So uh, May of 2021, and so we're about what is that 16 months in, and it's been an adventure. It's it's our brand. Vanessa's my co-founder, so she's been like you know my dearest friend for for oh, it's like 15 years now, um, and truly like family at this point. And we never we never really thought about doing business together. It just kind of happened, um, which I always think is the best way, especially with friends, because there's always those saying you know don't do business with friends. But I think. You know, magic can really happen when it's organic and it feels authentic and real. Um, and that's what Cali worries to us. We both, you know, truly drink it every day. We both love it. I mean, when Vanessa's traveling and she's on set, the first message I get is, hey, can we ship Cali water to Canada or can we ship Cali water to Germany? Like she really misses having it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a health drink, but, you know, people love it as a mixer. 
You know, you can pour it on top of tequila or vodka and it makes an amazing mixer, but it's also tastes like an amazing cocktail on its own. So for people that don't drink. So we have like kind of a great, you know, appeal there to a, a wide demographic. Um, and then, you know, the, the brand is really about friends. I brought in a ton of friends who, who invested and got involved and everyone from Gerard Butler to Frank Grillo, uh, Mike Coulter, Glenn Powell. Uh, we have Aaron Rodgers now, Cody Bellinger from the Dodgers, um, Claudia Gadella from the UFC, Brooke Burke. So it's kind of crazy because we have, you know, actors, we have musicians like Ryan Tedder. Um, we have athletes, as I said, we have, you know, NFL players, MLB players, um, and then, you know, UFC fighters. So it's it's a, it's crazy what the, the brand and the drink is becoming, you know, it's a, uh, it's uh we don't we don't stop enough vanessa and i were saying this yesterday to stop and see how far it's come because we're so you know you're on the hamster wheel and it's just going all the time um but it's been an adventure it's something we're extremely passionate about and excited about and yeah uh we're giving it a go so i'm filming a movie in boston um for the first part of december um, it's a little independent movie. I'm actually exec producing it as well. Extremely excited about it. Can't say too much at this point. It, the movie's called Social Capital. Um, amazing director, writer, um, Emilio Maro, or Maro, I should say. And there you go, that's my uh, terrible pronunciation. Um, but yeah, extremely excited about it. It's an incredible script, great like kind of ensemble cast. So yeah, I fly out in like four hours. I'll start filming that tomorrow. Um, and I will be in Boston until you know kind of late december and then heading to uh the uk for christmas so i'll be back with the family for christmas don't know what i'm doing for new year's yet i've just started to think about it so i'm sure i'll do the classic last minute decision around new year's um and that's it and then straight to work again in january what's up produce to mo magazine i am oliver trevina um check me out in plane and the bricklayer their movies coming out next year and there's a lot more happening so follow me on instagram at oliver trevina and i will see you all very soon <laughs> <laughs>